<clears throat> ding, ding. Ding, 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 Welcome back to the Jenna Julia podcast, where we're not tired today. It feels good to like be a little bit awake. I'm exhausted. You're tired. I think it's I think it's because we've been we've been up for a little while and we've like been productive. You know what I mean? Like it's not a weekend; it's like a weekday. Yeah. So I kind of feel like in the zone. In reality, I'm probably exhausted, but I feel good, and I'm and I'm. Boy, you're going to be tired tomorrow. Ready to dink it up. At my basketball game. I'm leaving for the airport at 40. <laughs> Fuck. That's less than 12 hours from now. Oh, my God. Don't say that to me. I'm sorry. Why you come at me like that, girl? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going to have to wake up and take my Lyft. And right now, you can drive for Lyft. They're looking for new drivers, guys. Brilliant. Do you like being able to earn hundreds of dollars per week, keeping 100% of your tips and easy pickups? Drive for Lyft. Right now, if you go to lyft.com slash Jenna Julian, you score yourself a $500 new driver bonus. Trust me, it is a great gig, great people. Lyft is awesome. All right? That's how ride sharing should be. Go to lyft.com slash Jenna Julian and get started. Limited time only. Make sure you check it out soon. Since when did you start, like, segueing in the beginning of the podcast, though? This is, like, the third week in a row that you've segued in the beginning there of the podcast. There is only so many moments per episode that I can fit segues in. And sometimes <laughs> I have more segues in the tank than I have room for on the podcast. So oh, I've okay. been creating more space. Got it. Sick. Creating. Tight. I'm a creator. <laughs> A featured creator. <laughs> uh, Julian's going to Buffer Festival in the morning. He's going to Toronto. I'm going to miss you, I'm going to miss you. Mm. By the time people are watching this, I'm going to be back in your arms, baby. Yeah, baby. I know. I, uh, I'm excited. I'm also, I'm also preemptively already missing you. Mm. But, you know, it'll be good. Buffer Fest yeah. is a good time. And we're premiering our short film, which will be fun. Yeah, you're going to have fun. Yeah. Be cool. And you're going with Rome and Colin. I'm going with Rome and Colin, a waffle and a Rome. I've, I've never traveled or even really been with just the two of them. I know, right? It's going to be wild. It's like how Rome always travels with you and I. You're going to travel with Rome Do and Colin. Do you think they're going to annoy me? Like Rome, anno- like we annoy Rome? Probably. God damn it. We need to get her back on the so. podcast. We need to get Rome back in our home home court advantage, okay? Because we <laughs> we, she's due for some messing with <laughs> Oh, the video that I posted where you passed that note from when she was on the podcast and she's like, oh, it says you're a dirty whore. <laughs> no way. <laughs> she got you so good. She got me that good. Podcast. She got me good. Anyways, Julian, what are we doing today? So we have a couple things planned. Jenna initially came up with this idea and I kind of perfected it. It's called clickbait roulette. And what we're doing with this game, which I think is really funny, is we basically broke down clickbait into three categories. Right here, you have the video category, okay? That's like the disclaimer or what the type of video is, whether it's in the title or not. Uh, this is like a story time video or a vlog. It's like, this is what categorizes the video. So I've made 21 different video categories. Then over here, we have the dramatic title, which what is what makes clickbait so great, the dramatic title. So there's drama in the title, describing what's happening in a very dramatic and likely lying way. I have 21 different dramatic events listed in title form. And then lastly, we have who, who is it happening to? Is that, are they going to be like all jumbled up? Cause this is the first time, like usually when we do this kind of thing, like we both write them together. Yeah, I did this myself. Do you, like, is this going to work? Like what if the subject is totally different than the title? It will, it will likely not work at all, okay. but we're here and we're, we're ready to go. No, I think it'll be good. Okay. Um, I honestly do. Because I, I was like mixed. I was mixed and matching them like while I was doing it to and see it if they would make sense. And it works. Okay. So, but, like keep in mind, this is the Jenna Julian podcast. It's going to be incredibly fucky <laughs> and like make little to no sense. I'm like a little nervous because usually we write this stuff together. So I like have some idea of what some of them are. I literally have no idea what any of those say. I like it when you're at nervous. All. At all. I like it when you're nervous. Meanwhile, in the second half of the podcast, I took it upon myself to peruse some of Craigslist misconnections and uh, pull out some of my favorite ones of We're even just read the you past guys few days. They're not even like famous ones of all time. They're just like in the last few like days. Like recent. Yeah, you can find good ones. In LA or anywhere? In LA. Well, like greater LA. So maybe so, some Orange County ones in there too. So today it's going to be the Julian podcast and then the jenna podcast we basically <laughs> each have a podcast for you today yeah um but i don't know how we're gonna do like the ranking system with the clickbait roulette i was thinking we can just like go and then like 
Like maybe I make one, you make one, and then the winner stays. Yeah. And then we it's decide, like king we of the hill. We just decide who wins. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So you got to pick one of each, and I'll pick one of each. The suspense is killing me. Wait. You one typed these? Yeah, I typed them out. <laughs> you typed them and printed them? Yeah. <laughs> They're so little. They're perfectly sized. Okay. I just want to make sure I don't mess these up. Okay. All so right, hold for... on, hold on, hold on. Uh, All right, go. The category is fall favorites. No, that comes at the end. The category comes at the end. Oh, well, then why don't you do it this way? Oh, sorry. All right. So then what comes first? Um, Dramatic title? Who, what, and then category. Okay. Why don't you organize the cups that way? You know what? I'm not a Virgo. (laughs) Okay. Here we go. My assistant got lost and almost starved. Fall favorites. (laughs) Okay. Okay. What the hell mind is you, this? Mind you, mind you, these these were created out of clickbait, real life clickbait inspiration that I went and found on YouTube. My dead parakeet accidentally <gasps> sent nudes to Michael Pencil unboxing. Oh my god! I'm sorry, but those are fucking <laughs> Trump cards. Are you can I'm so upset now. Yours are so unfair. My unboxing. dead parakeet unboxing. <laughs> How do you unbox anything in that title? I like how you put the stars around unboxing, yeah. like the asterisks. It's an unbox. Emotional. Oh, I um, didn't do emotional. Fuck, that was one it. I didn't include. All right, so this one wins. Absolutely. My dead, my dead parakeet accidentally sent nudes to Michael Pencil, which for those of you who don't remember that podcast, it was a tweet that I fucking, like, I laughed for like 10 minutes at it. That's what we that like to Mike call Pence Mike Pence is short for Michael Pencil. All right, we got a winner. Oh my god! So we'll put the winners Yours over here. Yours just crushed mine, though. We'll put the winners over here. The losers over there. What the hell? I'll deal with it, baby. Okay. I don't. I don't want to lose. Got I got a lot of good. I got a lot of good ones in here, baby. There's a lot of good stuff. My dead parakeet. All right, I'll go first now. Okay. Guy Fieri. <laughs> this is actually perfect. Guy Fieri eating fifty thousand calories in one hour. Boobs and thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that was a good one I, I, would, I would click the fuck out of I that. would click the fuck out of that too All right, what do you got I have my daddy proposed to her while skydiving <laughs> reaction <laughs> I can already see that thumbnail like it's just some idiot photoshopped in front of a skydiver <laughs> saying my daddy with a ring reaction <laughs> that one's pretty good <laughs> okay if if any no, yours is still yours Mine's is pretty perfect. Good. My pretty pretty good boobs and thumbnail. I mean, <laughs> if anything, I feel like this is like creative fuel for those of you out there that just want to make the greatest clickbait in the world. Guys, clickbait ain't easy. Okay, you need more inspiration and creativity. It's more getting boobs flooded and the in the clickbait market. You got to get creative. More clickbaity. More so, Guy Fieri eating fifty thousand calories in one hour. Yeah, boobs and thumbnail. Yes, that's the winner. Perfect. All right, two and oh, bebe. I don't understand how that video could have any less than 20 million views. <laughs> Trended for a week straight. Yeah. Like, there's right. no way. <laughs> I like this game already. It's pretty fun. Yeah. It's funny because it's real. Sort yeah. Of. All right, you read the first one. Okay. I have, oh my God, my idiot dog fell asleep driving what I ate today. <laughs> what I ate today. Uh, I meant to like what I ate, what I eat in a day. What I eat in a day. That's pretty good. Yeah. My butthole was sentenced to drug, sentenced to death for trafficking drugs. Live footage. Yes. Why are you so good? I don't know. I'm getting lucky. I'm literally picking them out of a cup. That is trash. I can't believe, I cannot believe my butthole got paired with sentenced to death for trafficking drugs. Are you kidding me? (gasps) That's a match made in heaven. Yeah, I would watch that big time. Live footage. I love when they include live footage in, in the title. But half of them don't even have live footage. I know. Footage. That's the greatest part. Like, it's like oh. you see live footage and you wonder, will it be live footage? Yeah, or it's like a 30-minute video of them explaining the live footage. And then it's like, you know, a grainy 10-second video of like around the area. But like no actual live footage whatsoever. And they're like, okay, guys, so that was the live footage. So as you can see, everything that I said is a completely true. And you're like... Bitch, what the fuck? What do you think the live footage would look like for this video? My butthole was sentenced to death for trafficking drugs. Live footage. And how would they end up 
posting that if their butthole got sentenced. <laughs> is it live footage of the sentencing or of or the, you trafficking or getting drugs? caught? Or do I win again? Yeah, you win again. All right. Sorry that I'm picking better cards than you. This sucks. Babe, this is random, okay? I'm going to make do with what you got. Just I feel like, like you're bait. looking at them. I'm not. Are you kidding me? Am I being accused? I was accused by my girlfriend? <laughs> Story time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is what what is wrong with me? All right, what? you go first. All right, I have that one fuck boy is adopted ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> that one What fuck. the fuck, Julian? Um, my turn. My step hamster got doxxed while naked. Top ten. <laughs> How can mine win? I don't know. I'm getting good. ASMR ones. is incredible. ASMR is good. Oh. I like I like the fact that you're like uh, exposing someone as being adopted, but you don't even include their name. Like that one fuck boy. Yeah. How is it an ASMR though? Somehow. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. Make sure you leave a like on the video before I say anything. Smash that like Smash button. Smash the like button. So today we're going to talk about. We got some good news stories today. I'm fucking adopted. Like the video again. I know you just did it, but do it again. And if refresh, you, if you comment, out, comment, subscribe, and like again. follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, you can be entered to win a gift card to Amazon. Flag so. this video, please. I hope, Kill me. I, I like, I really genuinely hope that people understand that when people are like, oh, in order to win this, whatever stupid, probably fake prize that they're giving away. Oh, the giveaways. I didn't illegal. even do a giveaway. That's what I should have done. Some of them should be fucking illegal, but like. When they're like, follow me on this, this, and this in order to enter a chance to win. There's no way for them to check that. No way to verify that. You know what I mean? No way. When they're like, you need to follow me, like this tweet, and on like other platforms, there's no way to check that. There's no way. Correct. It's so manipulative. Yep, it is. Okay, this is a little off topic, but did you hear that thing where Taylor Swift was... uh, selling tickets to her upcoming tour or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she was like, uh, for the super fans out there that want like faster or earlier access or like a better chance of like getting access to tickets as soon as they come out, uh, just go watch Look What You Made Me Do as many times as you can to increase your chance. You can't track views. Exactly. But like I I read that on Twitter or something in Twitter moments like a couple days after the video came out, the music video, not the lyric video. And I was like, this is this is like actually criminal. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that that violates the the throttling views with with the bribe of rewarding those who are throttling the views. But there's no, there's no actual it. way to test who's doing that. No way. Isn't that insane? Yeah. So like her video has, the music video has like 430 something million and then the lyric video has like 70 million or something. I know this only because I just did my radio show today. Jesus Christ. But it has almost half a billion views, but a lot of them were like manipulated into getting, you know what I mean? That's fucked up. Isn't it? That's fucked up. I just I mean, feel bad like for these get like- views already. But I feel bad for these, like, 13-year-olds that are sitting in their room refreshing her music Thinking video. that they're going to get it. Yeah, thinking that they're going to have a better chance when, when, of getting when, tickets. When in reality, there's a literal 0% chance that they will get it. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that fucked? Yeah, that's that's pretty fucked up. Okay, anyways. That's that one fuckboy is adopted. I like that one. That one wins. No, it doesn't. Yours wins. I'm winning again. I'm 4-0. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to step your picking up out of the cup game. Look what you made me do. Anyways, if you guys want to fact check what I just said, I hope that that's what happened because that's what I thought I read. Or if she changed it or did something differently. But I know that she was facing criticism for doing that because it's so fucking wrong and manipulative and a flat out fucking lie. Really pissed me off. What? Wait, I got to pick my last one. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. My stepdad. Had an allergic reaction and peed out of my butt. (laughs) (laughs) Exposed. (laughs) Peed out of my butt. (laughs) God. I don't know how. Okay. You know, my. Don't look. I'm sorry. (laughs) My mom, STD test came back positive (laughs) QA. That's fucked. Mine's funnier, though. 
There's no way that that doesn't win. Of course that wins. I'm 5-0, and oh, baby. 5-0. My five and stepdad oh. had an allergic reaction and peed out of my butt. Exposed. Yeah. All right. How about for the next one, you pick both both of ours. So, no. No, no, no. You pick. None of this pity win. No, no, no. I'm not saying you pick. I'm saying to make it just so you know it's fair, you pick my cards and then pick yours. No, I don't want to do that. The, these pieces of paper are too little. <laughs> they are pretty little. Why did you do that? Like They're this? adequate. They're adequate. We're adequate. Okay, Julian. Right. I would click that fucking video. I would click on my the, stepdad had an allergic reaction. <laughs> to peed out, out of my, my butt. butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go first. <laughs> Wait, what's he allergic to? Peanuts? Tree nuts. Dates. Shellfish. Dates? Dates. Wow. Cooked dates. How does how does one pee out of someone else's butt? You gotta watch it. Gotta click. <laughs> Live footage. Live footage. <laughs> Exposed. Uh, mine is Barack Obama got hacked live stream. That's too realistic. Yeah, that's bad. That went, my, I win already. Trash. Literally just an ant I found on the sidewalk. Got arrested again. <laughs> crying in thumbnail. <laughs> Why am I getting all the gold ones? Why is this happening? Like, this is I ridiculous. Know. I don't know. Like, who's crying in the thumbnail, you think? The ant? The ant. Just. It's a Photoshop picture of an ant, like a stock photo. But close from up. the movie Ants? Yeah. And then they like morph it Jack's film style, like oh, so like, it brings his cheeks yeah. down. So he's crying. Yeah. Okay. So seven, six and oh. Wow. The one time that I don't write any. That's what you get. We can do round two of this sometime, someday. It's going to be hard though. Why? Because I'm like, it, it was hard to think of the video categories for 21 different ones. All right, I'll go first. Go for it. You're going to win. I married a prostitute. Boyfriend tag. (laughs) (laughs) Meet my boyfriend. (laughs) Wait, you married, but it's your boyfriend? (laughs) (laughs) That's even better. That's even better. Why do you keep getting such I amazing don't know. ones? Oh, the the subject of that video was just I. I. Yeah. Married a prostitute, boyfriend tag. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, mine is my landlord is pregnant with an alien spawn baby diss track. I quit. You can't quit. I quit. You can't quit. I quit. I'm sorry that I'm. My hands are like magnets of gold. Gold, it's like attracting golds with with magnets. Like, if gold was magnetic, my hands are the magnet, is what I'm trying to say. And just move it over the cup and then gold. Mine's not even clickbait. I wouldn't watch that. I'd be annoyed. What does it say again? I'm 7 and 0. My landlord is pregnant with an alien spawn baby diss track. Really? Oh, God. Really makes no sense. Barack Obama got hacked live stream. Yeah, that one's like, that's like fucking house of cards <laughs> shit. Okay. All right. What do you got? All of the Backstreet Boys planned my funeral and killed me. Tutorial. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I picked two of this one. The middle one. All right. I have my Good. boyfriend caught on fire again get ready with me <laughs> okay yeah you won you win that one <laughs> but it's not just get ready with me it's grwm <laughs> yeah you like that abbreviation i know my stuff <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend caught on fire again get ready with me what would the thumbnail look like for that it would just be like you with like a bunch of fire around you and then like a target shirtless. logo right here and then her just like getting dressed yeah it's like half the thumbnail is just sheer horror, and then the other half is just like a normal GRWM. Getting... GRWM. GRWM. I finally won you one! You finally won. Congrats for winning. Don't shake my hand all weird. Don't do it. Don't do it soft like that. Don't. Okay. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, no, that goes over there. Okay. Right? Winner. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one of these. I, you always get first pick. Right, yeah. Give me one. All right, what do you got? Okay. My racist cat <laughs> accidentally pooped in my sleep. Parody. 
<laughs> I don't know how to phrase a sentence like, like um, a, a noun separate from yourself <laughs> is is doing something in there. Like I would have to write there. Uh, no, my it's racist so funny cat like that. accidentally pooped in my sleep. Parody. <laughs> That is a parody. You don't need to write parody. Your cat races though. That's Dude, fucked. Don't go into that, okay? It's a source subject. Okay. My, I'll wait my for the cat story is time. fucking racist. I'll wait for the story time from your cat ASMR. Emotional. Emotional. Not clickbait. Not clickbait. Trigger warning. All right. Uh Oprah has a basketball game tomorrow challenge. Oof, that is bad. This is so bad. That is just horrible. I don't think this like game and subscribe. works. No, this game doesn't work. All right. My racist cat actually pooped in my sleep parody. So do we have any left? Oh, we have two. We have two. We have one round left. Here we go. Final round to determine the winner of all the winners. Thank you. All right. I got my mailman was robbed story time. I fucking quit. Julian. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon turned 14 today. Not clickbait. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you rig this for real? Not clickbait. <laughs> it's his 14th birthday today. That game fucking sucked. Okay, half of the game was great, though. Half of it was amazing. I genuinely don't know what it was. Like, I, you guys saw we were picking out of a cup. Like, there's no way I could have fixed that. I'm not smart enough to fix a game like that. What the hell? All right, pick a winner out of those. Pick a What's winner like out of those. Your top all? three. Um, Guy Fieri with the boobs and the thumbnail is pretty amazing. damn good. Would click on that. Twenty million. I would views. click on that. I think. Um, let's see. Dead parakeet. No. Wait. Uh, w- you read it. I don't dead remember. parakeet accidentally sent nudes to Michael Pencil unboxing. <laughs> Love that one. That's pretty good, actually. My stepdad had an allergic reaction and peed out of my butt exposed. <laughs> that one's pretty good. How do we pick a winner? We got to pick one. Keep reading them. I forgot. Guy Fieri eating 50,000 calories in one hour, boobs and thumbnail. My butthole was sen- sentenced to death for trafficking drugs, live footage. I feel like you can get rid of All that. All right, let's one. get rid of that one. Yeah. My step hamster got doxxed while naked, top 10. I can, I can get, get rid, rid of, that. of that one. My racist cat accidentally pooped in my sleep parody. I'll get rid of that one. I married a prostitute, boyfriend tag. <laughs> Still really good. That one's good. Literally just an ant I found on the sidewalk got arrested again, crying in thumbnail. You I'll get rid of that. Good. My stepdad. All right, I got that. Matt Damon turned 14 today, not clickbait. <laughs> <That's really good. laughs> like, like, imagine someone so just, like, good. disputing, like, straight facts, but saying, like, not clickbait. Like, he's 14 today. It's not even, like, conspiracy theory. It's not <laughs> It's his birthday party for 14 years. It was today. <laughs> Can you just imagine Matt Damon showing up to his birthday party and be like, I'm Matt Damon, hey guys, I'm 14. Like, but looking like a grown adult. <laughs> like TMZ covers it. <laughs> Matt Damon turned 14 today, had it, balloons at his birthday party. Yeah, like he, you know how dogs age faster? Like they say every seven years is like human years. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. One year is seven, seven, dog, seven dog, dog years. Yeah. years. Matt Damon ages even slower than humans. So like, so he's like the opposite of dogs. He just every seven slower. years is one human year. For it him. must be sheer torture. So he's it's like he was 14. born on leap year, but he ages that way. Yeah, basically, he's had fourteen leap years. Damn, he's born February 29th and he's turning fourteen. <sighs> Ridiculous. Well, I mean that was fun. It obviously needs work, but I don't know how to pick a winner. How do we pick a winner? What are, what's our top five? We have uh, my dead parakeet accidentally sent nudes to Michael Pencil unboxing. My stepdad had an allergic reaction and peed out of my butt exposed. <laughs> Matt Damon turned 14 today, not clickbait. <laughs> I married a prostitute boyfriend tag. Guy Fieri eating 50,000 calories in one hour boobs and thumbnail. You know what? I'm, I'm going to say that I feel like Matt Damon turned 14 today, not clickbait. It's pretty damn good. All right, guys. Well, for our clickbait video winner of Clickbait Roulette, Matt Damon turned 14 today, not clickbait. Somebody out there, make that video. You better click on it, too, and make it clickable, okay? Bright colors, arrows, outlines. Come on, get the whole thing right. The Crying, boobs. Thing. Um, This was fun. That was fun. Yeah. I mean, I, I would I would want to do this again. We just have to figure out, like, a, a way to get more. Maybe we need a little help. Yeah, totally. Need a little help. I'll help you next time. Oh, thanks. Do you want to hear? You look so cute in your jacket. Thanks. It's from Forever 21. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's like so soft. Yeah, I know. 
I saw it as soon as I got in there, and I was like, I need that yeah. right now. I need it on my body. It's it's it's. I mean, it's it's no micro modal fabric though. You did not. Julian, I you meant, touched my jacket. I, I meant the compliment. It's a real compliment. It just reminded me of how soft, how much softer me and these, me and these new pro modal crew socks are. Guys, these are the most comfortable socks I've ever worn. Me and these just came out with socks. Okay, the comfortable undies that you've been wearing on your butt, if you're smart, can now be on your feet. And they also have bralettes. Do you want to tell them about the bralettes, babe? Yeah, they're actually dope. I'm still insulted that you touched my jacket and then segued it it's into soft. a podcast. No, stop it! Do not touch me. The bralettes are like they're. It's like having the underwear, but on your boots. And they're hot. They look really good on you. Okay, you know. Sorry, what? <laughs> Guys, the they're bottom really line. Cute. The bottom line. And really soft. <laughs> Mandy's socks is here, okay? If Mandy's wasn't your thing for underwear, get your socks. Or okay? a bralette. Or a bralette. Uh, their socks are spun from premium materials, making them the best you can get for your feet. Mandy's will be the most comfortable undies and now socks you'll ever own. Guys, I have Boy, I have like two or three pairs, I think, of the crew, but then I have the, the no-show socks. First yeah. of all, they stay in place. And I've worn so many fucking no-show socks that fall off or go under the heel and yeah. it makes me nuts. They stay in place and they're so comfortable, light, breathable, and they still have their amazing, awesome MeUndies designs on them. So right now, guys, MeUndies has an exclusive Dink Fam special offer for you. You go to MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian. Get 20% off your first order and free shipping. Guys, and MeUndies is so sure that you love your undies and socks. 100% satisfaction guarantee. Just order a pair and if you're not in love, you get a full refund. And I am telling you, you will be in love. That's MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian to get the most comfortable socks and underwear and bralettes you've ever owned. Also, guys, Lyft is looking for new drivers for their ride-sharing service. What are you doing? I'm just looking at you. I'm just keeping tabs. You're, like, it, itching your leg? No, I'm touching. The, I'm literally touching the, ta- the... I thought you were scratching your knee pit. Ew! <gasps> <laughs> Get out! Where do I go? <laughs> Where do I go and why? Just in the corner. Guys, uh, okay. Oh my god! No, I'm kidding. Come back. No, I'm over here now. Lyft knows. This boy really left me. Lyft knows that their drivers are what keeps them moving, so they can do everything to make sure their drivers are happy on every trip. Like being able to earn, earn $100. Ow! Oh my god! Ow! Come back! Per week. And keeping 100% of your tips. Come back. <clears throat> Lyft is the first ride-sharing platform with tipping built in, guys. And since that feature is introduced, hi, hi, ride, sh- ride. <laughs> Drivers have been paid over two hundred million dollars since that feature was introduced, and they made pickups are uh, way easier now because they have the color-coded amp sign. So when you order your Lyft, you have a color on your app, and you look for that color in the window of the. Hi. Are you Hello. Oh, here we go. Uh, you have the same color, so it's very easy to find. Your driver, what was that? My phone. Okay, good. Just your phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, happy drivers mean happy passengers. That's why 9 out of 10 Lyft rides get a perfect five-star rating. Lyft treats their drivers right, and that makes everything work well because the drivers are happy. The uh, You are happy when you take Lyft. And now they're looking for new drivers. So, guys, it's a great gig. You can make your own hours if you're working part-time at certain jobs or you need a part-time job. Or maybe you work odd hours with your existing job and you need just a couple hours in between where you want to make some money. Lyft is great for you. Go to lyft.com slash Jenna Julian. Score yourself a $500 new driver bonus and get started with the dopest ride-sharing app Hell out there. You. Thank you, Lyft. Thank you, Lip. Thank you, me undies. Julian. All right. Are we doing some missed... Can you please do me a favor? Missed connections. What? Can you please play some nice, like, soft piano music? Yeah, for sure. I'm on it. Because it's about to get... Oh, shit. Sexy in here. Here we go. That, that's not music. Okay, y'all. So as I said, I was perusing. Can you understand me in this? Can you understand me in that better? Yeah. This better? No, five, five, this, five, five. This. Five. This. Five. This. Five is best. Five is best? There this is the best? Yeah. Is that too much echo? 
You can lower the amount of echo. How do I do that? Leave it ringing and go to the effects tab. Thanks, Julie. Try now. How's that? That's better. Oh, that's much better. That's better. Okay. So I was looking through Craigslist for some misconnections. These are all like from today. Or the last I'm couple just going to have a normal voice. Okay. Because the music gets distorted. This one is from Starbucks in Garden Grove. Man for woman. This one's actually pretty sweet. To the a little more, sorry, it's still distracting. Go. What the hell? It's just, just I can't understand. Don't ruin the romance. Yeah. Ew. To the lovely Asian girl working at the Starbucks drive-thru today, on the small chance that you come here and see this, on numerous occasions you've given my son a butter croissant on the house. <laughs> That's so cute. I've been keeping tally, and I'd like to take you out to dinner as a thank you sometime. Let me know what color truck I have, so I know it's you. Oh my god, that's like so sweet. I know, sweet. that was really sweet. Shit. That was not even that funny. It's, <laughs> it's like just, fucking sweet as hell. He, this lady gives his son a butter croissant on the house. Yeah. Now. Okay, so if you in Garden Grove, and you would get Starbucks. Okay. This one is called Looking for a Softball Mom. <laughs> okay. Man for Woman. Orange County. I don't know if you felt it, but I felt the connection the other night. I get lost in your beautiful eyes, and your smile melts me. Our kids play softball together. <laughs> <laughs> They're on the same team. We've made small talk after I gained the courage to talk to you. If you are interested, reply back with the name of the kid's team in the subject line. Oh my god, so it's like you have to reply back with some sort of proof that you're that person. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. it, okay, that makes sense. But like, if your kids play softball together, why don't you just talk to them at their next I game? know, right? That's your in. <laughs> it's not like you're never going to see them again. <laughs> Misconnections. <laughs> this is good. I like this segment. Thanks. Alright. Like and subscribe. This one is called... Were you lost? Man for woman. To the cute girl in the parking lot, I saw you walking back and forth, looking for your car. Lost? I was smoking a bowl or three. <laughs> Wanted to know if you'd like to join me in the future. Downtown Fullerton. Miss Connections. <laughs> Are you sure it was a person? Were you just like super duper high? And you thought you a saw bowl someone? or three? Yeah. You just saw a manifestation of a person walking by and you're like, yo, I'm going to hit them up on Craig. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't say what they were smoking. Could have just been a bowl of anything. <laughs> smoking an, a, an smoking, acai bowl. Smoking a literal bowl. <laughs> I used to think... I used to think that when people said smoking a bowl, it was literally in the shape of a bowl. Yeah. But it's not. No. It's like a subscribe. It's shaped like a pipe. With a bowl at the end. <laughs> a tiny bowl. It's more like a tiny cup. Like a pipe. For weed. For weed. <laughs> All these people smoking out of bowls. <laughs> no one ever smokes out of plates. I, I'm just eating cereal over here out of my bowl. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> Help me, Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to get excited about Dr. your bowl. All I'm doing is Xanax, cocaine, okay, and marijuana. marijuana. Anyways. Misconnections. I can subscribe. This one is called... Flag. Flag this video. <laughs> Flag. This is called Lindsay, in parentheses, question mark, at Starbucks on Bristol slash MacArthur, man for woman. Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. I've seen you a couple times, sitting with an older lady. We locked eyes, but I couldn't come over and see you since you were occupied. Not sure if anything will come of this, but I def would love to buy you a cup of coffee. Tried to airdrop my contact info, but you were too far away. Oh my god. Love the smile on the curves. Tell me what color your pants were. 
Oh, okay. That's creepy. I tried to airdrop to you my contact info. You imagine being on your phone in Starbucks and all of a sudden it's like, Steve, <laughs> it's his phone number. <laughs> like, what kind of move is that? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, keep going, keep going. Okay. This is called Target Orange Thorpe, Man for Woman, Fullerton. I couldn't keep my eyes off your behind. I know it's terrible and rude, but for some reason, it tickled me the right way, and I couldn't help but stare creepily. I feel like you kind of noticed me. I caught myself pinching my shaft while watching you. Oh my god. I could have gotten in trouble. Big trouble, honestly. You are a short Latina. Why don't you just play the same one over it's, again? It is. It's a loop. It's the same... What do you want me to do? It's just a loop. It's Go an hour-long loop. All right, I'll Go back to the beginning. I like the beginning. Okay, okay. You ruined my reading. I'm not to ruin you ruined my reading. No, you're good. I caught myself pinching my shaft watching you. Good move. You were a short Latina that ended up smiling at me a few times, but I was too intimidated to say anything. I hope I see you there again, and perhaps we can exchange info properly. Ugh. I am a terrible man. <laughs> I'm gonna start airdropping you my contact info. Can, can you imagine? Oh, okay. I mean, if I were on here, if I was this woman, and I was like, Oh, damn, he was pinching his shaft looking at me. <laughs> pinching? Like... I'm gonna call the cops. Like what? Pinching his shaft. Okay, Otter. What are you doing? I'm doing something. Don't airdrop me your I'm contact. Not, babe, what are you, babe? I'm sitting here playing some beautiful piano music. Okay. I'm not doing anything. Just <laughs> <laughs> accept it. Accept my contact on airdrop. Yes, you accepted it. I'm in. Save. <laughs> Pinch his shaft. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be so creepy if someone did that to me in public. Yeah. They just airdropped me their content. All right. This one is called... Girl that sleeps in her white car at Brand Dam Park. Oh, shit. I've seen you for a second, but you looked hot sleeping in your car. It's a newer white car. I'm 34. Good looking. I work out here. I would love to kiss you, your lips, or even more. Let me know. Maybe we can work something out. Jesus Christ. I see you sleeping in your car. Nothing like a normal guy is working out at the park who's looking at you in your car while you're sleeping. Oh, he never, he says he works. Oh, he, he works out, out here. Out oh, okay, park. you're right. And he wants to kiss her, but that's not on the mouth. Where do you think he wants to kiss her? I don't know. Her feet? Yeah, bro. Her knee pit? Neep it, neep Her it. butthole. Neep it. Neep Flag it. this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one is called Racing Down Victory Boulevard. <laughs> Man for Woman, Van Ice. We were in a silver Infinity Q50. I was riding passenger. Light turned green and we took off. You ended up smoking us. <laughs> but then slowly slowed down and disappeared. This happened on Monday, September 25th, around 10 p.m. I thought you were cute and real ballsy, if that's a word, ha <laughs> ha. If this is you, then email me with the make and model of your car. Let's get to know each other. I want to buy you dinner as a congrats for winning, LOL. <laughs> okay, this one is called Pregnant beauty at Walmart. Man for woman. To the beautiful pregnant woman who followed me into Walmart Saturday afternoon. Three exclamation points. You followed me in and I couldn't help but notice you big beautiful round belly. Two exclamation marks. Great grammar. So it looks far. like you were about to pop. <clears throat> Two exclamation points. If you're interested, I would totally rub down that belly of your... With cocoa butter. You have to wonder. 
Is that guy at Toys R Us or Walmart or wherever to find pregnant women? It's possible. Fuck. I mean, do you? Do you? Do you? But all she did was walk in the door after you and was pregnant. Oh. Listen, dude, I'm not going to kink shame you, man, but I'm not sure that this is really a misconnection here. Yeah, we're also I think you saw a pregnant woman in public. (laughs) I think that's literally all that happened. (laughs) There was a pregnant woman in the same place that you were in. I don't know if I'm going to read that one. I'll come back to it, maybe. Whole Foods, San Vicente, man for woman. I've been there. You were wearing a hunter green dress. Great color on you. You were at the store tonight around 6.30. Just wanted to say, you have the most incredible legs I've ever seen. Have an amazing weekend. Guy in the Mr. Rogers sweater. That was nice, he just complimented her legs. But he was wearing a Mr. Rogers sweater. What does that mean? I don't know. Like the style or did it have him on it? This one is called Gray Pants, Long Oakley Shirt, Orange Beads Braid, Woman for Man. You ate my funnel cake, get at me. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I'm not even joking, that's all it says. Oh my god. Dope. Okay. That one's not that good, okay. Shark Bar, Woman for Man. I walked up to you when you were playing pool. I said you, if you were in a relationship, you said no. I didn't get your number. I hope you see this, or I see you, I, I see you again. Can you imagine walking up to someone? You in a relationship? (laughs) No. No, I'm fucking playing pool. (laughs) Move. Hello? Spikes cue ball under her head. Okay. This one is called Del Taco. Del Taco. <laughs> where they have free shavaka do. Free shavaka do. Dear Del Taco man, you are the nicest guy ever. I want to make babies with you. Sincerely, no, I don't want any ketchup or hot sauce. Thank you. So he's supposed to identify her? Yeah. By not wanting ketchup. Yeah, they're the only person that doesn't want ketchup or hot sauce. Okay, fair enough. This one is called Hot Older Man and Taco Bell. Oh, I love those. Man for Man. We made eye contact and smiled at each other. Couldn't help but to stare. You were tall, older man reading the newspaper. Flip flops and mustache. You left as sat down. If you read the, and this is you, tell me which Taco Bell this was, and about what time. Hopefully you see this and we can meet. My only problem with this is who the fuck reads a newspaper in a Taco Bell? A man. (laughs) With mustaches and and flip flops. If I saw someone reading a a newspaper in Taco Bell, I'd be like... I would check to make sure it's 2017. (laughs) Are you good? steal his newspaper to make sure it's this year. (laughs) This is called Chipotle Temple City. Man for man. Asian man working at the Chipotle in Temple City about 1.30 today. You were very attractive. Asking me if I needed anything else. You were incredibly (laughs) handsome and have such a beautiful smile. Let's get together. What did I order and or what was I wearing? Looking forward to hearing from you. Just sounds like someone that works at Chipotle. Asking if I needed anything else. <laughs> so funny. You asked me if I wanted white rice or brown <laughs> rice. I think we had something. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's the one that I didn't know if I was going to read. Okay, go for it. Julian, you just, you tell me when I should stop. I will put my foot down. This one is called Lactose Intolerant or IBS. How much would it take to get a girl to fart a loud, oh, nasty, and stinky, or take a loud dump in front of me? Okay. 
Let me know. Respond with something telling me about your farts or shits. <laughs> or something. The nastier the better. I know it's weird, otherwise I wouldn't be looking so hard. Send a picture. No men. Sorry, I only like it when women fart. Please don't flag my stuff. It's an honest paying thing. I'm not hurting anyone. Or at least tell me where I can post this. <laughs> He just wants a little lady to take a dump in front of him. It's not hurting anybody. Good for you. I hope he finds a nice lady to fart in front of him. And that wraps up this week's segment of Misconnections. Farts. <laughs> wow. Did you like it? I honestly, that's my new favorite segment. Pretty great. I love that segment. Mm-hmm. I think we should have that be a regular thing. Okay. Not too regular. We have to find good ones. We have to find good ones, but maybe like once a month. Yeah. That's a pretty good I segment. like them. Plus, I feel like we're doing a service. If we, you're no, in the Los Angeles that's not area. Even, like for real? And that's if that's any of you. This is, should get this is very people. true. Tell if, your people who who post and look on Misconnections, this is where we put it on the microphone, yeah. baby. Like if you ate a girl's funnel cake. Get, Get at, at her. him. Her. Her. It was her. Yeah. Get at her. She wants to meet you and hang out. This is a really fun podcast. Yeah. And the dogs are even cheering. Guys, thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Um, well, we'll see you guys next week for another one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out the Sponce and uh, any, last, any last parting words before they enter their beautiful week. No. Oh. But if you ate my funnel cake, get at me. Or if you take loud shits. No. no. <laughs> We're done with that. I'm not hurting anybody. Please stop flagging my stuff. Where can I post? <laughs> Poor guy. All right, we love you All guys. Right. Later, guys. Bye. Bye.